Here's how to create a warp zoom in transition in After Effects. Right click on this area here, new, and create an adjustment layer. Place it on top of your video and then add the transform effect onto it. First, set the shutter angle to 360 and uncheck this box. Then place the time indicator right in the middle of the cut between the clips using your mouse while holding shift and then move 10 frames backwards. Activate the scale stopwatch and move back to the middle cut and now change the scale value to 300. Hit you on the keyboard so we can see our keyframes we just made. Put the time indicator where the first keyframe is located and hit Ctrl Shift D at the same time. Now delete this part out and also decrease the length of the adjustment layer just like this. Duplicate this adjustment layer by hitting Ctrl D and move it above the second video like this. Select this layer and in the effect controls change the scale to 50 for the first frame. Go forward to the end and set the scale to 100. Now add the motion tile effect so we can get rid of this empty space. In the effect controls put it above the transform effect. Increase the output width and height until the empty spaces are gone. For me 200 is where it's at. And also check mirror edges. Now make another adjustment layer and make it the size of the other two combined. Add the optics compensation effect onto it and keyframe the starting point of the FOV setting. Go to the middle cut part and set the value to 150. And then go to the end part and reset the value to 0. Also check reverse lens distortion. The final part of the video consists of smoothing all of our keyframes we just made. So while holding shift select all these adjustment layers and hit U. Select all of these keyframes and ease them in just like this. And for even better smoothness, keep selecting these layers and go to the graph editor. Make sure you're on the edit speed graph and basically drag this yellow line to the right like this. And this one like this. Also drag these yellow lines to the left. Actually one more thing to do is to decrease this adjustment layer by one frame and all you have to do next is save this project and if you want to apply this transition effect to other clips just replace these current video clips. There you go. That's how you make a warp zoom in transition effect. If you found this video helpful please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Also feel free to check out this next tutorial.